Good morning or afternoon. Welcome to my channel again. I'm sorry about this face. I'm very, very tired and I'm so run down and stressed at the moment that I have actually broken out into more spots than I ever did when I was a teenager. So I'm run down, I'm tired, but I'm also giving my face a rest from makeup because that can't be very good for the skin if you're breaking out into spots. So yes, I'm sorry, I have to look at this smug. But yeah, in work today, it's a Sunday and I'm in work with Jack. And we've worked so hard already, considering it's only a four hour shift. And look at the awesome consoles we have in. We've got N64s and we did have GameCubes, but they've sold. And we have Master Systems and NESs. And we've just moved loads of stock around on the shelves again. So we finally moved the jewelry cabinets to the end. So anyone who walks through the door will see them. We've also labeled each shelf so we know what type of jewelry it is. And We've put all the accessories in order on the shelves. Jack's done a really good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we've even like started labeling like the collector shelves so all like good stuff can go there. Yeah. And it's looking awesome. And oh, excuse Jack. <laughs> Look how awesome the N64 stock is. You can see why I've been playing so many awesome games recently. We got some, I want a SNES. And then, yeah. So it's looking good. And now we just need to tidy up and sort comics out and be productive. It's fine, thank you. Why don't you put <laughs> So I'm home now and I have been watching American Office and just relaxing. It's been a really off day for me today so I've hardly filmed anything. I'm sorry, the tables are sold as complete units. Then I'll take a table. That's kind of it, really. <laughs> right, so I'm trying to get out of my funk by playing this awesome game, Super Fight, um, which was kindly given to me by an awesome customer of mine called Graham. So basically, me and Michael have to take three white cards each, which is the character card. So you take three cards. Oh God. And then we take three skill cards and we look at them. And we pick one each. One is to character cards, and this is the skill that they have. And then, so I have an iron giant in a flying saucer. What do you have? Keanu Reeves. He grows body parts at will. <laughs> okay, and then we pick one more random one. And this is an additional power we have. So I have an iron giant in a flying saucer that can call orbital bombardments. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty apt. Keanu Reeves regrows body parts at will while armed with a railgun. And then we have to debate who would win. Who would win? Yes, yeah, in a fight. I am an iron giant in a flying saucer, so I think I would just squish him. So there was nothing to, like, there was no body parts left to regrow. I'd just crash into him, and that'd be fine because he's an iron giant, he wouldn't die. Yeah, but just regrow. Well, no, because he's like completely smushed. He's like mashed potato. Well, what if he's like the guy out of Terminator 2 and he can just... Well, he's not though, is he? It, it, he doesn't say that he is the guy out of Terminator 2. He just says he can re regrow body parts. I've seen the film, he regrows body parts. He loses an arm. I feel like yours is slightly too powerful. How do I kill that? Well, you don't. I want to do this again. <laughs> Okay, so this time I have an army of skeletons that throw water balloons filled with acid. What do you have? Godzilla. Oh. And with a really, really bright laser pointer. Godzilla with a really, really bright laser pointer. And okay, so my army of skeletons can also throw water balloons full of acid and shoot lasers out of ears. Godzilla is armed with a really, really bright laser pointer and he's also swinging a two-ton tuna. What is Godzilla up to these days? He's obviously doing whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> well, obviously Godzilla is uh, someone not to be messed with, 
But I think if anyone was going to mess with him, it would be an army of skeletons really? that have <laughs> a, a mass of water balloons filled with acid. Yeah. Um, naturally, there's a lot of them. <clears throat> mm. um, so it's well because it's an army. That's like. How many people are in the average army these days? At least ten. At least, <laughs> ten. At least ten. You know, and with a balloon. <laughs> And, you know, they it's not just one balloon, they throw balloons filled with acid. So I feel like they have, like, this belt strapped yeah, around them a full of, of balloons. a satchel of balloons filled with acid. And they're just thrown at him. And that stings, that weakens him. And therefore, then they spin around like disco balls, add l fire lasers at him, coming from all directions. It's a good theory. I think it's a fantastic yeah. theory. <laughs> But what if Godzilla uses his really, really bright laser pointer to pop the balloons as they're about to throw them? Ah, now that can, could that do that? Um, it's a really, really bright laser. <laughs> well, that would have no effect on a skeleton because I oh, know acid does burn. I've heard, I've read the acid How bath murders. Why are these skeletons? If, is this gonna like lose limbs? Are they just gonna be skulls on the floor? Eventually, but it depends how strong that laser pen is because we're talking about at least 10 skeletons. How quickly can you pop, pop 10 balloons in one go? I'm gonna throw a curveball in here. There's extra ones that you get in this loot crate pack and there's um, special events or locations. So I'm gonna throw a location where the fight is taking place. And it's the Mars colony. It totally didn't. Mars colony. So we're on Mars. We're on Mars with skeletons filled with, with water balloons filled with acid. Does Godzilla breathe air? Breathe air? Probably, so he's dead. Mm. I win! It seems you I win! I win! I win! I win! I win! I win! Ah, well, see, that we, we were clever, that's why we sent an army of skeletons to defeat him. How did, how did Godzilla get on Mars though? Rocket. 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 That's where he came from. He came from Mars? Yeah. Not underwater. He fell in the water. He, he fell, fell off Mars and fell in the water. How heavy is Godzilla? <laughs> Pretty heavy. It took him a while to get back out. That's why we thought everything was all peaceful. I'll let you He's not a good swimmer. Well, he's got a two ton tuna. <laughs> Tuna swim like. Did you just say Godzilla's not a good swimmer? Yeah. <laughs> Do I took him forever to get out of the water? I'll let you have it. <laughs> I was never on the debate team in school. <laughs> it's weak, but I'll let you have it. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Okay, Michael's just said I have no chance. So go on. What do you have? Prince Charming. Oh, good. Is really, really emotional. <laughs> While stuck in one of those electric cars for toddlers. Shit. <laughs> I have the common cold, which can only be killed by a stake through the heart at, whilst wearing bu a bubble wrap suit. It's not focusing because my camera's rubbish sometimes. There you go. <laughs> so you have. I have a common cold. But can only be killed through the stake. Can only be killed by a stake through the heart, wearing a bubble wrap suit. And I'm going to go all War of the Worlds on you here, because the Common Cold at one point was a massive killer, and you know it 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 can kill many people and aliens. It, you know, can Prince Charming kill aliens? No, but, Prince but the Common Charming, Cold can. Prince Charming is from the fantasy land where colds don't exist. Have you ever seen Prince Charming being cold? No, they never used to exist. So he hasn't built up an immune system. And the common cold, wrapped in <coughs> bubble wrap, has finally made it into fairy tale land. So the, so the common cold's wrapped in bubble Sorry about that, my battery just went dead. Um, what do you mean? Was it, yeah, he's wrapped, my cold's wrapped in bubble wrap. So it's isolated? No, 
originally it's got out because the common cold can get anywhere and he can only be killed by a stake through the heart and the common cold doesn't have a heart so it's invincible well i don't need a stake because it's wrapped in bubble wrap but it can only put it in some ice but the bubble wrap's going to get popped because let's face it Prince Charming isn't a very emotional person and nothing makes anyone happier than popping bubble wrap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. He's also stuck in an electric car. Yeah, the common cold. The common cold catch him. Yeah. In its bubble wrap. Because it's going to have to roll around, isn't it? And try and... I, th um, I think you're... Like, it's not in the bubbles. No, oh no, he is. He is. Maybe he is in the bubbles, and the bubble wrap was already in the car. Maybe Prince Charming, being emotional, just went to a shop, bought some ice cream, maybe a bit of retail therapy. There was some bubble wrap in the box. He's stuck in his electric car. Nothing better to do. He's going to play with his new toy and gets distracted by the bubble wrap. Pops the bubble wrap, and oh my god, releases the air of death. That'll give him something to be emotional about. This is an airtight strategy. Well played. I know, right? <laughs> it just all came together. It took me three attempts, but it's all come together. Yeah, I saw it. I saw the cogs turning. <laughs> I think I definitely won that one. And I think I won the Godzilla one. No. I definitely did. No? Let's leave it to the viewers then. Who won? Best out of three, I definitely won. You won the well, first one. Godzilla's on Mars. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. I should have played all those cards. <laughs> yeah, you should have. Yeah, that would have been... I think that's why you can you can play them. We have event cards and location cards, and I think that's what they're for. Like, if you're stuck. And another no. are you claiming victory? I'm claiming victory. It's always best out of three. No. And I definitely won. Just. Just. Oh well. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. Uh. Kind of filled up my day playing this because I'd had a really bad day today, so I didn't really fancy filming any of it because I haven't really spoken to anyone today. But feeling a little bit better as you can see because I won. So I'll leave it there on a good note. And I will thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all very soon, possibly tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>